Hello everyone. Welcome to Visit Malta channel. In this video, I am going to explain what is Malta PR permanent resident and Malta citizenship and how we can apply for a Malta citizenship and citizenship benefits, eligibility, investment and difference between Malta PR and citizenship in very detail. First, we'll see what is Malta Permanent Resident? And Malta Citizenship The Malta Permanent Residence Program, MPRP, launched in 2021, is a PR program open for non-EU nationals who live in Malta. It offers third-country nationals the opportunity to stay five years minimum. You will get visa-free travel within the Schengen area. To know more about eligibility, and how to apply Malta PR, please watch the other video showing in the top right corner, which I was explained in very detail. Now, let's see about Malta citizenship. Procedures, benefits, investment and eligibility in very detail. Malta citizenship, passport, is one of the powerful passport in EU region, the benefits is more, comparing with other EU passport. Not everyone, will get Malta citizenship easily. Let me explain the important requirement, eligibility, benefits, to get the Malta citizenship and alternate options. So, let's see in very detail about Summary of Malta Citizenship Investment Program What is the minimum investment and eligibility to apply a citizenship? Citizenship benefits for you and your family. Alternative option for Malta citizenship, by alternate investment in Portugal visa, Spain visa and Greece visa. Let's see in detail. First, summary of Malta citizenship. Citizenship, by investment in Malta, is a popular investment program in Europe. This new Malta citizenship program, by naturalization for exceptional services, grants you and your family citizenship by a certificate of naturalization. There is a minimum amount of investment that you must make to be eligible for the program. And you have to prove your 36 months of residency in the country of Malta. Next, let's see the eligibility and investment to apply a Malta citizenship. According to this federal government agency, the principal applicant must satisfy the following eligibility criteria. Number one is, you have to be 18 years old or more. An investment of at least 600,000 euros if you have completed 36 months of residency in Malta. Or 750,000 euros after residing in the country for 12 months. And buy a residential property worth at least 700,000 euros in Malta. And that must be held for a minimum of five years. An alternative to this is to lease a residence with a rental value of €16,000 annually. And next, donate an amount of €10,000 to any organization approved by the Community Malta Agency. You can also donate to a registered sport, cultural, scientific, philanthropic, animal welfare, or cultural non governmental organization or society. A valid residence card to apply for citizenship. On purchasing real estate property, you are issued a Malta identity document called an EID card. You and your family members must be in good health. Please note that you are not allowed to sublet or sell this property during these five years. Now, let's see the benefits of Malta citizenship for you and your family. Malta offers many benefits in exchange for an investment that contributes to the nation's economy. You can work or study in any EU countries. It grants you and your family the right to live, work, or study throughout the EU. Furthermore, it also provides lifelong family security. Your children will get access to the Maltese public schools and universities, just like other Maltese residents. State schools too are free for the students including transportation and book study materials. The University of Malta is publicly funded 
and is free for Maltese citizens. And, the primary benefit is. Visa-free travel, to 186 countries, including USA. Yes, a Maltese citizen, can avail of, all the European Union benefits. Moreover, you and your family, can access, the USA and Canada, without a visa. In addition, you can travel, to the Middle East, Africa, Asia, and most countries, in North, Central, and South America. Besides, you can visit, 26 Schengen visa countries, without border checks. In fact, you will require, no passport or customs checks. And then, quality life for family. Access to the Maltese healthcare system. I understand, and I can assume, the investment and eligibility is not possible for everyone. So, let's see the alternate option we have to get Malta citizenship. We have three other alternate EU country visa option to proceed and gain benefit of Malta citizenship with the low investment and eligibility. One is Portugal visa, Spain visa, Greece visa. Let's see the Portugal visa requirement and eligibility. The program was launched in 2012 to encourage foreign investors and businessmen to relocate to Portugal. The requirements is an investment of 500,000 euros. You can rent a commercial or residential property for income. The minimum amount required for properties in need of renovation is 350,000 euros. The benefits are you can get a European passport in five years and you are allowed to travel to 26 EU countries and 188 countries without a visa. Also, you can avail health and education benefits like Malta. All right. Let's see about alternate Spain visa requirement. This visa is available for people who invest in real estate or any Spanish country and is also known as the Spain investor visa. The requirements is purchase real estate in Spain worth at least 500,000 euros or many properties whose total value is 500,000 euros or investment at least 2 million euros in the Spanish public debt or invest in a business or company that employs Spanish citizens and the benefits are you can live and work in Spain lawfully you can bring your spouse and children along and stay together as family you will have all right to access public services like healthcare, education, and security. And finally, let me explain about Greece visa. The Greece visa is the safest route. Under this program launched in 2013, non-EU nationals can invest in Greece real estate and apply for residency. Requirements are invest a minimum value of 250,000 euros along with the applicable taxes and a 10-year lease agreement for hotel or furnished residential accommodation. A capital contribution of at least €400,000 to a company registered or established in Greece. You can avail the following benefits. Lower investment rate than other EU countries. You are eligible as visa-free travel to the Schengen zone. You can access to Greek education and healthcare. So, Hope all this information, benefits, eligibility, requirements, about Malta citizenship, is useful for you to get an idea to proceed further. Please note that all these information is provided based on the current rules and requirements as on September 2021, so the rules and requirements will be vary in future. For more detailed information, you can contact the website mentioned in this video description which we have collected the information for your reference. Please note that, visit Malta channel not assuring or recommending any agencies related to the Malta citizenship. You need to contact by your own risk and visit Malta will not take any responsibility for your communications and loss. So, that is all about Malta citizenship. If you like this information, please don't forget to like this video and share this video. For any clarification, you can leave your comments 
or always reach us out at visittomalta at gmail.com. Thank you again and good luck. See you in my next video.